pesticides have long been used in modern agriculture. However, there are increasing concerns regarding the long-term effects of chemicals in pesticides on our ecosystem and human health. With their research in crop protection, Certis Europe say that they can provide a solution with a non-toxic pesticide derived from natural ingredients. We examined how the product is helping worldwide to deliver on quantity and quality. The UK produces around 75,000 tonnes of tomatoes every year. At this farm on the Isle of Wight, growers need healthy plants to produce the best yield using integrated pest management. That means combining a range of pest control techniques while reducing risks to human health and the environment. The maltodextrin-based pesticide Eradicote can help growers achieve that. Eradicote is different than other conventional pesticides in that the moment that the product has dried on the crop it's not active anymore and that means you can introduce your beneficial arthropods immediately after spraying so you'll suppress the pests with the eradicate and then introduce your beneficials which, which is perfect for integrated pest management. A good understanding of the biology of the pest is vital when designing products for their control. Eradicote works by physically blocking the spiracles, the structures through which they breathe, on the bodies of pests and thereby suffocating them. The effects don't persist, so predatory mites like Phytoceles can be introduced back into the crops right away. And how important is it to your customers that you're using a product that isn't toxic? They have been basically the, one of the driving forces for the switch to less harmful chemicals. The success of Eradicote on plants like tomatoes is being talked about around the world. Its potential has been recognised across Europe and now Certis is forming new partnerships as far afield as Africa. In the cocoa plantations of Ghana, the company has only recently discovered the benefits of Eradicote. Here, mealybug is the biggest threat. It transmits the swollen shoot virus, which can kill trees and ultimately destroy the livelihoods of farmers. Eradicote controls mealybug, and because its effects don't persist, natural predators can quickly build up in the crop again after crops have been sprayed. Then when you see the trees in fact, you see that they are healthy. They are prepared, you know, so that, that is what uh, Eradicote is doing. It helps a lot. It makes the fruit, the cocoa tree, bear much fruit, and then the leaves become green. Cocoa accounts for around a sixth of the country's GDP, so the use of pesticides is crucial to maximise production. Buyers have seen big changes where Eradicote has been used. The quantity has improved and the uh, yield has also improved. And even the, the beans, the beans is also quality. We need safe pesticides or else we are going nowhere. So my dream is to see all these countries using these products and increasing our yields. On outdoor crops and in glass houses, Eradicote is proving to be effective and sustainable. Eradicote can be used over many years and sprayed many times, whereas conventional chemicals tend to suffer from resistance building in relatively short periods of time. In the future, we may see eradicate being used in broad acre crops like uh, coffee, for instance, in corn against things like fall armyworm. Um, but we're only really just discovering what the range of pests that we can work with with eradicate. For farm workers and growers, it is safe to use. For consumers, it's kind to the environment and leaves no residue. And it could soon be helping growers in more and more countries make an important contribution towards sustainable crop production.